Hey y'all, thank you for joining me again on Kendrick Sports Talk. I got a crazy situation to talk about. Last night I witnessed the craziest thing I've ever seen on a football field on Thursday Night Football, Browns versus Steelers. It was actually a pretty decent game to watch. And then at the end, what you ended up taking away from the game was had nothing really to do with football at all. Because there was about eight seconds left in the game, less than 10 seconds left in the game. Miles Garrett, after the whistle, takes down Mason Rudolph, Steelers quarterback. Browns lineman Miles Garrett takes down Steelers quarterback Mason Rudolph, pins him down on, on the ground, and Mason Rudolph starts trying to take off Miles Garrett's helmet as Miles Garrett is laying on top of Mason Rudolph. Mason Rudolph was horribly unsuccessful at taking off Miles Garrett's helmet. And then Miles Garrett then is able to get up off the ground, picks up Mason Rudolph by his face mask, lifts him up off the ground, is able to then easily pop off Mason Rudolph's face mask like it was no big deal. At this point in time, David DeCastro and Marquise Pouncey, who are offensive linemen for the Pittsburgh Steelers, then start to, looks like, restrain Miles Garrett from Mason Rudolph. Mason Rudolph then gets pushed down by Okunjobi, who I had never heard of personally on the Browns until last night. Okunjobi pushes down Mason Rudolph. And you could read Mason Rudolph's lips. He was like, bitch, <laughs> to the lineman. And he gets up and he starts trying to rush Miles Garrett, who's still being kind of detained by Pouncey and DeCastro. And so Mason Rudolph then charges at Miles Garrett without a helmet and while Miles Garrett is being restrained by two linemen. Miles Garrett look like instinctively goes to punch Mason Rudolph and ends up hitting him with the helmet, just bashing him over the head with the helmet. And so then DeCastro then gets Miles Garrett pinned to the ground. Marquise Pouncey starts laying shots and trying to kick Miles Garrett while he's on the ground. And of course you got a huge scrum, people are leaving the bench. It was wild. I mean, there's so much film out there. You, I'm sure everybody's seen it. But at first I, I was kind of blown away by the fact that he even hit him with the helmet in the first place. And then you start to think about it. And Mason Rudolph was kind of in the wrong too. I'm not saying that what Miles Garrett did was correct because obviously it's just unacceptable. Uh... So Miles Garrett is now suspended for the rest of this season. I personally think that he'll be suspended some games next season as well. Marquise Pouncey was suspended for three games for the punching and the kicking. And then Okunjobi was suspended one game and fined for pushing down Mason Rudolph. Mason Rudolph, I think, had a bigger involvement in the altercation than a lot of people are saying. Um, he did initially start it by trying to take off Miles Garrett's helmet. He was obviously unsuccessful. And at that point, Miles Garrett should have just been laughing at him for being unsuccessful at that and called it a day. But obviously, it went farther than that. And um, I think it kind of was instinct that he just bashed him with the helmet. I think he, if he's right-handed, he just went to, you know, bop him. But he's got a helmet in his hand, hit his own helmet, and ends up bashing it with him. Although, my final thing that I want to say about this is I think that everybody in this situation is entirely lucky. Because I think we're looking at a whole different situation if he hit him with the helmet in a different part of the helmet, in a different part of his head. And if we had Mason Rudolph laid out on the field, bloody and knocked out because he got bashed with a helmet, we'd be looking at a whole different situation. I think everybody in, in this altercation is entirely lucky that it wasn't worse than it was. And even the fans are lucky because, you know, as much as... There's a bad public opinion about this altercation already. Imagine if that blow would have been much worse to Mason Rudolph. We'd be looking at a whole different situation. I just wanted to share my thoughts and 
let y'all know what happened last night. I wanted to say how absolutely nuts that was. I've never seen anything like that on a football field. And hopefully we don't see it again. Thank you.